Hey, what's going on everybody? Brian Franz here with Rosenbauer and Sentinel Emergency Solutions, the Rosenbauer dealers in Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. Behind us is a new delivery here for Lincoln County, Missouri, uh, actually in Troy, Missouri. So for some of you who know, these guys used to be silver over blue. The, the color has changed a little bit. Now we got a dark gray metallic over red. So the same Lincoln County, a little bit different change. There's two of these trucks that are pumpers behind me and then two pumper tankers. This truck is way cool with a lot of great features built into it. So it's something new we're wanting to start here at Sentinel. We're gonna do a walk around video. I got a cheat sheet with all the cool stuff on this. But we're gonna try to do a little bit more in depth, really give you an idea. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll go through Lincoln County's truck here, which is way cool. So this is the uh, Rosenbauer Commander Cab, which is our top of the line. Some cool features, it's got an all federal signal warning light package on it, along with, this is the new uh, Hi-Viz FireTech BG2 brow light. This thing is intense, uh, way cool. As far as I know, I may be wrong. I may get lit up on Facebook over this, but I think this is the first Rosenbauer to have this particular brow light on it. So something cool to check out. Check out FireTech stuff, way neat. Uh, again, all blacked out. Rosenbauer American flag grill with the stainless overlays, which is way cool. And then the blue backlighting in there behind it. Something a little bit different, no trash line on this truck. Lincoln was trying to keep the bumper as short as possible for some angle of approach, angle of uh, departure stuff in the back. Kind of a cool setup there, receiver in the front. Like I said, fire tech headlights, uh, federal signal warning lights. So working our way around over here onto the driver's side. This is our 18-inch uh, raised roof with a 78-inch long cab. So one of the tallest ones we make, obviously one of the longest. Cool little thing we do here at Rosenbauer. We got this cool little folding step with the grab handle. So rather than ripping off the uh, windshield wipers, easy way to get up on the bumper, which is awesome. Inside the cab's got a lot of cool stuff, uh, blue backlit handles. The new thing that we're doing down here with some blue backlighting on the steps, which is way cool. And then just some really neat stuff inside the cab. A ton of room in there, five-man cab, uh, EMS cabinets on the inside only, in between the two forward-facing seats. Just some really neat features that are all built into it. All multiplexed, smart wheel, um, front steering wheel as well. Another cool part, so for all the fire truck buffs out there, 24,000 pound front axle, independent front suspension, 31,500 pound rear axle, air ride rear, 1,000 gallons of water total. So what do you get with an air ride front and an air ride rear? You get some cool features like this. No different than a bus, right? Same concept where the whole truck, it actually drops about seven inches. So some people out there are gonna go, oh, why do you need that? That's stupid. Maybe you don't need it, maybe you do. I like how much it lowers the front step, but it is freaking cool, okay? It's pretty cool. It's just a neat feature. I don't know, a couple hundred bucks for a valve and then it just drops the air out of it, all right? A lot of room back here in the back. Again, like we were talking about, it's got some uh, little arrow things inside of here. Little arrow sticks, top and bottom, which is cool. Little handrail going into the cab. Rear facing seat, two forward facing seats. Just a lot of room inside the cab. Not a girl. Other thing back here that's pretty neat is this um, ELFD compartment, which is pretty big. Something new that we started doing here at Sentinel um, is putting on a gas shock inside of here. So some of our competitors do it. Just makes perfect sense. Kind of opens this up a little bit more. Gas shock, battery charger, some of that stuff sitting inside of there. So what makes this truck cool? We ordered this truck from Rosenbauer with no shelving, nothing inside of it. You opened up each one of these doors and there was absolutely nothing. Obviously the pump panels some lights, but no shelving. Here at Sentinel, this is the first one. We've done some upfits before some basic stuff, adding some shelves, tool board, that kind of stuff. This is our first one loading up with all the equipment mounted. So as we go through here, we're gonna look at some pretty cool stuff as far as all customizing shelving. Two and a half inch, 200 feet, uh, and then 200 feet of inch and three quarters on each one of these. And then this has the Rosenbauer SAM system on it, <laughs> the Hale IDEX SAM system installed by Rosenbauer with our cool custom graphics to it. If you haven't seen the IDEX SAM system, this is a computerized uh, deal where you actually slide your finger up. If it wasn't pump, it would be working at this moment, but you slide your finger up, open pre-connects, and it does all that kind of stuff for you. There's a screen on both sides of the truck, which you're gonna see, and there's a tablet inside, so the driver can actually hop out, pull the tablet, and you got everything right there in front of you, okay? Uh, and then this one, just a uh, pull-out tool board. You'll notice the light tower controller on this side, which is sticking up. That's the command light KL409D-H4 to be exact. 
Basically, it's a command light light tower with high vis optics on it. I think it's, uh, yeah, 70,000 lumens. So coupled with the Guardian Elite scene lights on the side, this thing is just freaking awesome. Awesome. So going down the truck, like I said, pump compartment, great. Coming here to L2. We got some individual shelving that we built out for all these guys, some rope rescue stuff sitting here. Uh, this is a refrigerator cooler. If you haven't seen these, we think they're pretty awesome. This thing flips over and it's, uh, it's an ice box cooler. So instead of having a refrigerator in the cab, water moving all around, stuff like that, you got a cooler sitting right here on a slide out tray. Something pretty neat. This is uh, something we built. So obviously we built all this stuff, but this is a, a oil dry hopper sitting right inside of here. This thing holds five bags total. It's got a little valve underneath here to uh, get the, all the oil dry out. And then there's a bag sitting right here that clips onto the bottom of that. So you pull the thing, goes in the bag, that's your oil dry. Something kind of cool. Uh, just another pull-out tool board sitting on this one with some storage on it, bottles underneath. Again, nothing at all was installed in this truck. Nothing. Slide out trays here for uh, fans, saws, all that kind of stuff. As you pull this out, back wall comes out with it for some mounting on here. You know, slide out trays are awesome, but when you get a fan that's tall, you just lose a lot of that room. So on this one, we got a, basically just a vertical board on the back here that pulls out for more storage. Inside of here on this one is a bunch of electrical stuff uh, for the fan and the K12 saw. They got some massive batteries. So slide out tray here with just some battery storage on it and then a shelf above. Moving around here to the back, we got a thousand feet of five inch hose up inside of here. This side is a hard suction compartment. Uh, this is cool, it's a neat little Rosenbauer feature. We do a decent amount of these. Slide out step on the back, so whenever you're reloading hose, boom, you're standing right here to reload, which is way cool. Something simple, helps keep the bumper short. And then you got a full standing area inside the truck. And then Lincoln's not gonna carry any kind of three inch up there. It's purely five inch supply. So this is a walkway up on top. So as you go up the ladder, you got a full walkway, coffins on both sides. Something kind of cool. You can change the lights up inside of here, inside of the walkway. It does have a ladder rack on this side. So that comes all the way down. Rosenbauer rack comes about 40 inches off the ground. So it'll come all the way down here. Center mounted so you can still get the compartments on both sides. Compartment here in the back with a booster. So we got a 150 foot of three quarter inch uh, booster, direct tank fill here, and then all this custom shelving built out here by Sentinel to store all their stuff. So some pretty cool stuff back in here. This arrow stick is amazing. It's a personal favorite of mine because it reads something cool that you'll, uh, you can obviously see, but something cool. Federal signal, I think they call that a, a message board if I remember right, but it's pretty neat. A lot of cool stuff on there. So walking, working our way over here to the passenger side. Again, this compartment, these are, they're just loaded. So we got individual dividers over here for all their airbags, uh, controllers, all that kind of stuff sitting in here. We have this uh, rollout tool board sitting in here that we built, which is pretty awesome. And then these guys, if you haven't seen Fire and Marine, Fire and Marine, I believe they're in Ohio. They do some awesome stuff too. We bought this uh, rotary deal from Fire and Marine. Those guys are awesome. They're doing cool stuff just like we are. Check them out. But this pulls all the way out. Turn the deal here, pick your rescue tool, whatever you want. Great job by those guys. Push the thing back in, stores back in there. Great utilization for rescue tools. And it doesn't matter what rescue tools. These are obviously Hearst, but I believe they've done Genesis, Homatro. Um, I'm sure they've done them all, to be honest with you. So cool stuff right here. This compartment was a little bit uh, exciting for us. So vertical divider, storage, again, rollout tray here, just with some stuff on it. This one was pretty cool though. So this has all of their battery chargers right here. We were going to mount batteries kind of on the board, but they kind of jiggle for better word. They fall out. Same thing with this deal. So we routed everything, all the wiring, put the pull out, the uh, uh, power strip on here, and then all the wiring's built into there. So it's not zip tied up in there. It just looks really clean and, uh, and super user friendly on this one. And so I think some bolt cutters here on the back side of it. Then coming down this one, so I don't know what Lincoln's putting on this, to be honest with you. So I'm sure it'll be something cool. These are each clean gear boxes. So what they're doing is they're going to have clean gear in the cab. They go to a fire, they come out, and then they're going to have clean gear sitting in here. They'll put their clean gear, then a second set back in the cab, dirty in here, and take it back to the engine house and wash it. So they didn't go with the clean cab concept necessarily, but we're going to have clean gear in the cab. 
We also did the Rosenbauer clean air system inside of there, the scrubber, which takes air from inside the cab, cleans it all up, dumps it back in the cab. So they really did some stuff to try to be proactive with the cancer initiative stuff they can place. They also have a little giant sit here and then a, just a small ladder right in here. So why does this matter? We have everybody says, hey, we want a little giant to change smoke detectors and stuff like that. But then whenever they go in houses, you don't always need a giant little, little giant ladder to be carrying around. So we put this little one in there as well. So they got two ladders, the best of both worlds for changing smoke detectors and basic stuff like that. And then the other side of the truck. So this is the officer side pump panel. Again, pull out tool board with just some appliances mounted on it. You can see that. They got their blitz fire over here on this side, which is a pretty cool utilization of space. Just some cool stuff sitting there. And then again, we're on the officer's side of the truck, and here's the pump panel. So whether it's the left side or the right side, Sam, they got a, a control panel on both of them. Lincoln County went from rear mount pumps, which I believe they really liked because they'd pull past and had some view and stuff like that. But with Sam, you're able to put a pump panel on both sides, so then it really doesn't matter which side you pull up on or what's going on. Okay, something cool. Sam's system's pretty cool. And then kind of finishing up, again, we just got more compartment space. Obviously, they're not going to store hose in there. That's leftover hose. I want to say that's driver SCBA sitting in here. Flip down seat. And just some other really, really cool features on this truck. It's got a Cummins X12 500 horsepower engine in it. Uh, vinyl seats, if you didn't see those sitting in there. And again, a little bit easier to clean some of that stuff up. Just... Uh, just trying to stick with that whole keeping the truck clean and, and easy to wash down, those kind of items. It's a Hale 8FG 2,000 gallon per minute pump. Uh, we talked about the SAM system and it has a Hale 2.1 smart foam system on it. So with the smart foam, that's an injection system that goes to the two inch and three quarters and then the two and a half inch pre-connect sitting there. Um, it's got a, a 30 gallon class A foam tank, 1,000 gallons of water. So in closing, thank you very much Lincoln County. Thank you all for, for everyone who supports Rosenbauer, especially supports us here at SIP. We greatly appreciate all that stuff that you guys do. We're trying to do some cool videos, some new stuff. Instead of just doing a sales pitch walk around, which this probably felt like that, but I'm trying to do, and we are trying to do, just some more information. So that way, if you're building a new truck, if you have a truck on order, if you're specking out stuff, whatever you're looking at, we want to try to show you as much Rosenbauer content as we can. So when you spec your next engine, pump or ladder, whatever it may be, that you got all the right information. So thank you all very much. Stay tuned. We got a lot more videos coming up. I believe we have a two-door international that's just finishing in our shop. So that one will be coming out. We just got a lot of cool content. So thank you all very much. Thank you for the support.